I'm gonna check out another song by Era called Sol Absentia. Just gonna get straight into it. And go! Loving this so far. Pretty complex drum beat, actually. Sousin vocally. I like it, that lead guitar part. Sounds a lot like Sousin, which I like. That was good. Epic. Yeah, the busyness of those drums, man. That's quite an unusual guitar riff. It's not obvious where the rhythm is going to go. Filthy. <laughs> Pretty sparing on the cymbals. There's a layer in there which is kind of haunting. There's a melodic vocal low in the mix to support the scream. Just that one symbol, pretty chilled out. Doubled up. Reminded of receiving end of silence, sirens as well. Just that kind of like lead guitar bit. Nice. <laughs> oh, 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 where are we going? <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Man, they're having fun with the rhythms of this. <laughs> I don't know when the hits are coming. Jesus, is that it? Wow, that is the end of the song. That song had like two brains in it. There was one which is that kind of chorus where everything was epic and, and controlled and consistent with the beat and rhythmic choices and like the nice kind of hooky melody, a uh, bit of scream vocals backing that up, a nice kind of uh, consistent rhythm of the sort of lead guitar bit that layer that was in that as well. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. There's this nice home understanding, like here's where we are. But everything else in that, even the earlier verses where the vocals were fairly easy to follow rhythmically, the drums were doing all kinds of, you know, it seemed simple to begin with, but then he'll just decide for a, a whole bar just to do some unusual rhythms and drum beats and come back in, maybe not on the downbeat or the offbeat that you'd expect, but like on the off offbeat, you're like, what? Um, and then there was moments where they all came together for the heavy breakdowns 
And I had no fucking idea when the next like hit from a kick drum pedal and the bass and a guitar riff stabbing at the same time in unison was coming. That I'm gonna have to listen to that a few times to get my brain to expect what's coming in the right places. It was just so like, oh, now it's here. It was as if I was in a, a boxing match and I don't know when the next like left and right hook were coming from. That was kind of exciting. Um, but I'm excited for when I hear that more often and then I'll be familiar with it and kind of follow along because it was a little bit like, where the fuck are we? This is mad. Um, but overall, the tone quality of the kind of guitar uh, distortions and those riffs that they put together uh, was delightful. It kind of had this heavy weight to it um, with a nice counterbalance from the high vocal in the, the chorus and also the kind of guitar lead uh, bits and pieces throughout as well. Uh, clearly the drummer is very good. I mean, it was machine-like in some places, but it had a, a bit of creative expression to it. And there was some groove as well. Knew when to, to simplify it. Like in the chorus, I think it was, it was just simple. It was just on every downbeat. It's kind of uh, simple. It allows you to, to lock your head in and enjoy the groove for what it is. Um, well, that was, yeah, that was quite a roller coaster. There's a lot of that that I liked. Um, reminded of Salsin vocally and like receiving end of sirens in terms of that lead guitar part that went over the chorus. Uh, very cool. Era are very clever, I would say, and they're finding a good balance between being technically proficient, showing that stuff off, but also there's a core element of just good solid uh, song uh, structure sonically within that that really speaks to me in terms of my metalcore enjoyment. So thank you, Era, for that song. That was delightful. And thank you to uh, Clef City for recommending Soul Absentia as a song to check out. There was a lot to enjoy by that, and I thought that was fucking impressive and cool, and I loved the vibe and the sound that it had overall. So thank you for that. If there's other songs in this kind of genre you think I should check out, I do love heavy rock, then do let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you want to see more things from me in future, feel free if you've not done so as yet. Have a wonderful day, and perhaps I'll see you in another video.